Hey everyone, in this video we'll be quickly learning about .NET MAUI fonts. So here you can see we have font as a text, font as icon and we are using some type of image to add some fonts. So let's get started. So here this is my fresh .NET MAUI project. Let's run it and this is what our resulting output look like. Let's stop the project. This is my font gallery where we'll just take the text font from google and we'll just use some material design icons and we'll using the, those fonts so let's get started with this fonts integration you can just uh, select any of the font as you like here i'll be selecting one type of font so this is the font that i'll be using as a text so we'll just download the font family then uh, same goes for material design icons we'll just download it so here uh, we'll just download uh, via this link so yeah uh, let's go show it in finder so if you are using windows then you will have your explorer and uh, where you will just go to download and see the extracted files so i'll just extract both the folders and here you can see we have uh, uh, the files that are inside the um, material design icons as well as the uh, fonts so here this is the uh, file that i need to select let's rename this file to something like my font icon that is for the icons font and let's go back and then here for the font i'll just change uh, any of the font so i don't think i need to select this uh, we'll just go to the static folder for the fonts and here you can see we have lots of fonts and we can use any of the uh, fonts that we like here uh, i'll just select this font i'll just rename it uh, to something that is really readable so my uh, the i can just give it anything like my text font dot ttf so that is it now we'll just copy both the files to our uh, project register both the fonts inside our myvoipprogram.cs so it will look like this so here i have registered both of my fonts with the initial name to be provided so that we can use it inside our app that's all now we'll just integrate our mainpage.xaml with the fonts so let's clean this uh, uh, mainpage.xaml and mainpage.xaml.cs so let's go inside mainpage.xaml.cs so we don't want this uh, whole method now it's time to add the font family for the label so at first we'll just integrate the font label and then we'll just use some font icons after that so here you can see our app text font can be used as like this so we have font family as app text font which gets all its content from the text font that we just extracted from the google so let's run the project if everything is right then you can see in the cs pros of the whole project you can uh, see the item group contains both the bundle resource which contains our font icons as well as font text so here you can see both the font icon as well as font text is included automatically so here you can see we have our uh, nice little font text that we just now uh, have inside our vertical stack layout so we'll just put that vertical stack layout to the center so that we can see the resulting output as like this so that is it for the text font now let's go to the font icons you can drag and drop the font that you have uh, recently downloaded so here is my material design icon so here we have already renamed our font icon if you still remember so i'm just dragging and dropping the font icons directly over here then copy to clipboard that means we are just going to copy this c sub uh, uh, class implementation and then we'll just generate a new class for us so here we are going to create a new class so that we can paste the uh, resulting class files to this class so here uh, i'll just give the name of my uh, font class as icon font class and we can just remove everything as of now because it will be a really huge uh, c sub class uh, file so i'll just remove it and then uh, i'll just paste it so let's remove it and then paste it the file that we have just now download means uh copied from the uh the website that is icon font to code now it's time to make this class as public so i'll just give the same uh file 
uh, the class file name so here that is our icon font class so that is it so let's go down and here i have missed one curly braces for our close uh, closing this class file so that is it now it's time to inherit this class file from our jaml page this is one of the major thing that we will be discussing that is the uh, initialization of namespace where that actually the class file lies that is our icon font class so it lies inside my font and icons you can see i have placed it outside of the whole project so i am just using this uh, font and icon as a project so if you have created some folder placed it inside the uh, folder then you have to uh, do something like font and icons dot the folder name where that actually the uh, file lies so here uh, now let's uh, uh, code for our font icons and the resulting output is gonna look like this now you can select multiple icons from here as a list so here you can see we have ecstatic uh, our local font dot account so now we'll just just need to close the project and then restart to, to see uh, the font uh, name so here we'll just copy this uh, um, uh, the font family that uh, inherits from the uh, font icons class that we just recently downloaded so let's run the project so this is what the resulting output look like this so you can just give the text color of this label so that we can change the uh, whole color so you can just uh, play around with the um, values too so as per your adding image font is also easy so this is how actually the code looks like that is image with the source and uh, and that is it so we can just display the image as a font